WRTV Streaming News is sponsored by Tom Wood Group. Hi, I'm Amber Grigley bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. A sentencing date has been set for the man convicted in the death of Metro Police Officer Brianne Leith. Last month, a jury found Elias Dorsey guilty but mentally ill. He'll be sentenced on April 4th. Dorsey shot and killed Officer Lee through an apartment door in April 2020. Leith was responding to a call for help regarding a domestic disturbance. And youth violence in Indianapolis has been a growing issue. And this year, many in the city are looking to change that. 2023 saw Indianapolis hit new highs in homicides among young adults. And many organizations are taking action to make sure the violence slows down over the coming months. Let Them Talk is an organization that meets twice a month in an effort to open up a space for kids to discuss violence in their neighborhoods and how they can choose better alternatives. Daniel Mills is the co-founder of Let Them Talk, and he feels it's about changing the narrative. When do we step in and really change the narrative for our youth? And I think that's what we're really looking to do is change the narrative for our youth. Because when we hear about our youth, we hear about violence. We almost They're almost synonymous with one another. But how do we separate the two in Indianapolis? And we need our bolder or our leaders to step up and actually get out here with these kids who are not afraid and make an impact with these kids and start making these connections. Because if we don't, I don't know what we think we're going to be able to do sitting on the sidelines. Mills also shares that he is hopeful that his organization can give teens the tools they need to succeed. All right, one of the Indiana Pacers star players will undergo season ending surgery. The team announced Pacers guard Benedict Matherin was diagnosed with a torn labrum in his right shoulder. Well, he will have a season ending surgery in Los Angeles next week. The team says he is expected to make a full recovery before the 2024 25 season. The Pacers have not announced who will be taking his place on the starting roster for the remainder of the season.